In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a flight system for your character in Unreal Engine 5. Open your character blueprint so we can start building the system. So first things first, we're going to go to the character movement. And on the details tab, we're going to look for fly. And we're going to set to true this can fly option. Then also for the breaking deceleration flying, I'm going to put it on something like 3000. This is just how fast it's going to break once you stop flying. And then the max fly speed, I'm going to crank it up to 1500. Then from the jump, we're going to call the macro do n. And the end integer, we're going to set it to 3. Also for the reset, we're going to get the event on landed. Then we're going to get the counter output and look for the function switch on int, which stands for integer. We're going to connect the execution node to the exit of the do end. Then we select the switch on int. On the start index, we set it to 1. And we uncheck the has default pin. Then we're going to press this button, add pin, three times. So first, let's start with the number 2. We're going to get the execution node and look for the function set movement mode. And it has to have the character movement component connected. Then we're gonna get the execution node from the set movement mode. And we're gonna get the Boolean set use controller rotation yaw and set it to true. Then from the Boolean, we're gonna get another Boolean which is called set use controller rotation pitch and also set it to true. Then we're gonna get the character movement component and the output is gonna be connected to the Boolean set orient rotation to movement. And then we connect the execution node to the use controller rotation pitch. And that's pretty much everything from the pin number two. Then we can just go ahead, copy and paste it down here. And then we just connect the set movement mode to the pin number three. And then the new movement mode, we're gonna set it to falling. We're gonna uncheck the use controller rotation yaw, the use controller rotation pitch, and we're gonna set true the orient rotation to movement. Have in mind that if you use the controller rotation yaw for the ground movement, then you don't need to set it true or false. And then here on this set orient rotation to movement, we're going to get the execution node and connect it all the way to the reset. We're just going to add some reroute nodes to make it look cleaner. And then to finish this section, we're just going to remove the trigger and get the start execution node and connect it to the jump. And that's everything to start the flying system. But now we need the actual movement. So we're going to go all the way to your movement input. And let's get the right vector and the forward vector and just move them down. We're going to disconnect the return value from the get right vector. And then we're going to copy and paste it. Then we're going to get the in rotation y connected to the get control rotation and in rotation c also connected to the get control rotation and now we're going to use one of my favorite functions we're going to get the character movement get the output and connect it to get movement mode now the movement mode we're going to connect to a function called select which gives us all the movement modes and now we're going to connect the first right vector which is basically for the ground movement into the walking index and also the falling index and then we're going to connect the new get right vector to the flying index and then the return value from the select, we're going to connect it all the way to the world direction. And that's it for the right vector. Now let's move on to the forward vector. And also we're just going to copy and paste it and disconnect the return value. And we're going to do the same. Connect the pitch to the pitch of the get controller rotation and then get the yaw and connect it to a yaw from the get forward vector. Then we're just going to copy the select and we're going to do the same. The first forward vector to the walking and to the falling and a second get forward vector to the flying and then the return value all the way to the word direction from the add movement input and now with the movement input done we can just compile go to the third person map and then hit play and now as you can see if i hit two times the space bar we're going to start flying and then as you can see you can pretty much fly to any direction and this is due to the setup of the get control rotation of course we haven't set up the animation that's why he has like this weird locomotion now let's move on to the animation part Let's go into the control browser and wherever you have the flying animations, we're going to right click and blend space. Select the skeleton of your character and I'm going to call it BS underscore flying and we open it. Now on the asset details under horizontal axis, the name we're going to change it to direction. The minimum axis value is going to be minus 180 and the maximum axis value is going to be 180. We're going to set through the snap to grid for more accuracy. Now we're going to move on to the vertical axis. This one is going to be the speed. The minimum value, we're going to leave it at zero. But the maximum, it's going to be 1500. And also set the snap to grid to true. Then we're going to go to the asset browser and search for fly. In my case, I already have all these flying animations. And all the ones used for the blend space are going to be linked down in the description. So in my case, I'm going to get the normal idle and set it on the point zero zero. Then we're going to get another normal idle and set it up on 090. Then another one and set it up on 0180. Then another one, set it up on 0, minus 90. And another one on 0, minus 180. And we have our idle flying. Then the fly forward on 0 and 750. And then the fly left move on minus 90 and 750. 
then our fly right move on 90 and 750. Then the fly back on 180 and minus 180 and 750, of course. Then I'm gonna get the fly boost and set it up on zero and 1500. Then the fly boost left on minus 90 and 1500. Then the fly boost right on 90 and 1500. And just to prevent any weird moves, we're gonna get the fly back and set it up on 1500 and minus 180 and 1500 and 180. And that's how we get the perfect blend space. Now we're gonna open the anim blueprint. And now it doesn't matter how complex your anim graph is. Here we're gonna need to do some adjustments. The first one is gonna be get a flying state, which we're gonna do from getting the movement component reference. Then search for the is flying function. And then the return value, we're gonna right click it and promote it to variable, which I'll call is flying. Then we just connect it to a set should move or really anywhere on the event graph, as long as it's connected to the event blueprint update animation. Now with the is flying state, we're gonna need to make some major adjustments to the ground speed. So instead of getting the vector length XY, we're gonna delete it and just get the velocity and get the vector length. Not XY, no nothing, just vector length. Now the return value, we're gonna connect it to the ground speed. After that, we're gonna get the velocity, right click on the output and a split stroke pin. Now we're gonna get the X and make a vector out of it and then connect the Y to the velocity Y. Now we connect the return value of the make vector to calculate direction. Then on the reference, we're gonna get the character and we're gonna connect it to the get actor rotation. Then we're gonna split the return value, get the X and connect it to a make rotator function. Then we're gonna connect the yaw to the yaw and get the return value to the base rotation. And then we're gonna promote to a variable the calculate direction return value. Then we just connect the set to the set ground speed. Now we move on to the anim graph and it doesn't really matter how many states or how complex is your anim graph. Just create a new state machine, which we're gonna call flying and we're gonna open it. On the entry, we're just gonna add state, which we're gonna call flying and we open it. Then on the asset browser tab, we're gonna look for the blend space flying and connect the return animation pose and then get the ground speed variable and connect it to the speed, then get the direction variable and connect it to the direction. Now we go back to the anim graph get the flying state machine and save it into a pose, which we're gonna call flying locomotion. And now to implement it into the output pose, we're just gonna have to make some room before the control rig. Now we're gonna get the output animation and connect it to a function blend poses by bool. And the animation pose is gonna be connected to a true. Now we get the pose flying locomotion and connect it to a false. Then we're gonna get the variable is flying and connect to a not boolean and then the not boolean to the action value. A quick side note, if you're using the control rig, it's not gonna work. I don't know why, I already try everything. It just makes the animation a little bit weird. So let's just connect the blend poses by bool all the way to the result. Now compile, go back to the third person map, hit play. And now, as you can see, if we start flying, blend space is gonna be working properly. As you can see, you can fly in any direction that you want, basically. And that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other tutorial would you like me to do. And that's everything for me. See you on the next one.